Right then, there's a bit of a follow up to um, yesterday's video on the Air Arms S400. I uh, put the Photon XT sight on it, went out with it last night and uh, shot a couple. Actually managed to shoot three. Um, but, um, wait, leave that. Scott! Yeah, shot three. But, um, I'm having a bit of trouble with the grass, is rather tussocky. And uh, I'm having a bit of trouble at the minute in actually um, locating some of them as I've shot them. It's alright if you can walk straight to them and pick them up straight away. But in this particular field, I had to go round over a ditch and through the gate. Because I wasn't able to walk straight to it, even with the age of a small torch, um, there was one that I actually couldn't find. I looked everywhere for it. I know I'd killed it because I shot it straight in the head. So it go down and everything. But because I'd lost sight of it, I had to move around the field. I'd lost it. Um, this has happened to me twice now um, with the PR900. And the first time out, I lost one last night with this. So I'm thinking that I need, really, to get my hands on a... Um, thermal imaging camera, a small held hand, handheld thermal imaging camera. Yeah, so as I was saying, because um, <coughs> I couldn't find it in the long grass, I didn't want to flash the torch around too much and disturb anything else, even though I was only out for a couple. Um, I think I do need to get one of these little handheld thermals. I've seen him, my mate's got one. He shoots a 2 2 rimfire, and he's got one. He finds it really useful. Because if you take your eye off him in the dark, especially if the grass isn't anything other than bowling green flat, um, they can be quite hard to find. I mean, they're hard enough in the daytime sometimes to find when you've shot one in longish grass and it goes down. Um, and at night, they're eight, ten times harder to find. Um, so I was a bit gutted at losing one. Uh, it was the first one I shot and just couldn't find it anywhere. And I knew it hit it hard. I saw it hit it straight in the head. Jumped up, flopped down, a couple of twitches and it was still. And I tried to mark the position of where it was, but... By the time I'd walked round the, the outside of the field, round the ditch, gone through the gate to get into the field where I shot it, I just couldn't find it. Um, so it's free food for the foxes or the buzzards this morning, one or the other. And uh, as I say, I got another, another two in half an hour, which wasn't bad. Um, I'm well impressed with this thing, considering it's got um, the photon on it, it's extremely accurate. Um, now, obviously, I shot it off a, 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 gun, a gun bench, um, a gun cradle type thing, um, because with the XT, when you're setting the photon up, uh, you need to hold it steady and move the crosshair to where the pellets are landing to zero. It doesn't zero like a normal rifle, so you need to keep the gun as steady as you possibly can. But even so, shooting from that, the accuracy was astonishing and when you think that these XTs they're all right for what they're designed for but they're certainly not um, any sort of target hunting scope the day the day view through them's okay it's usable but it's nowhere near um, as good as a decent or even a poor telescopic sight 
Um, so high hopes for this rifle. I'm very impressed with it. Very, very impressed with it. That was a 35 yard grouping with it. And I've got three in there and two in there. And all right, it's not perfect. But like I say, at 35 yards, um, first time essentially that I'd used this rifle and uh, with a, a, a night sight on it rather than a telescopic sight I thought that was quite good um, really good single shot preferred method for night shooting this bolt action here nice and slick um, not as slick as a side lever obviously but I quite like the bolt action on it, it's quite nice. It's got a really good trigger on it, which surprised me. The trigger's superb. Very, very good. Very good two-stage trigger. Nice and predictable. Nice light set off. Really nice. Q-Tex Silencer, really efficient as well. So all in all, really pleased with it. For um, first night out, half an hour, three rabbits in the bag. Three shots, three rabbits. Can't ask for more. So I have high hopes this gun and uh, I reckon in the next couple of weeks, now as the nights are drawing in, night shooting becomes the main thing really uh, and the ferreting takes over the, uh, the daytime operations. So the Steyers tend to end up sat in the cabinet a bit um, and this thing will be doing the brunt of the work I would have thought. Admittedly that whacking great big photon XT spoils the line of this thing because it is a beautiful looking little thing. The way they blew the barrel and the cylinder, it is a really sleek, pretty little hunting rifle. It's a proper rifle, really looks smart. That whacking great big night sight plonked on it kind of ruins the lines, but for functionality, I am very impressed. Thanks for watching.